TikTok creativity program beta is making people thousands and is being dubbed the easiest way to make 10k a month, the fastest way to make 10k a month, the money making method of 2024 and it's even being called a money printer. But are these statements true or is one side of the double edged sword being hidden? In this video I'll give you the real truth about the program by addressing three of the biggest lies associated with it. My goal isn't to discourage you but to give you a better picture so you can decide if it's something that you want to pursue. Before I go over the lies, I need you to understand what the creativity program beta is. If you already know, use the timestamps to skip straight past this. So just like YouTube, TikTok charges avatars to, well, advertise on their platform and has started giving a percentage of the money made to the creators, but it only pays creators who create original content over one minute long. To get into the program, you need to have 10,000 followers, 100,000 views in the last 30 days and have your account in good standing order so no copyright strikes and no community guideline strikes. Once you're in you get paid per 1000 views which is known as RPM or revenue per milli, milli being a thousand in Latin. The RPM will vary depending on what niche you're in, what your engagement rates are like and what region your audience are from. Anyway, now the basics of the program are cleared up, let's look at line number one. It's quick easy money. This statement is simply used by the people who are creating videos on the program to help them get views. If I titled this video, this time consuming method can make you £5.64 or £10,000 a month depending on how much time you put in it and even then an algorithm which you have no control over might prevent this, you probably wouldn't click on the video. But if I say it's quick easy money, everybody wants that so you're more likely to click on the video. Look, of course there's examples where someone might have posted one or two videos and they've blown up, got thousands of views and they've made a ton of money but it's such a small percentage. The reality is, in order to succeed, you need to be consistent with posting and expect it to take no less than 90 days to reach 10,000 followers. You'll need to improve your editing skills gradually, understand how hooks affect retention rates, find out what hashtags your audience is interested in, and before you can do any of that, you need to find a good niche. Which leads me on to line number two. You can copy and paste formats. This means that there are certain niches and styles which just blow up and you can put no thought into it whatsoever and just do exactly what everybody else is doing. The three formats I see being called the copy and paste formats are the streamer and podcast clips with GTA features underneath, the would you rather videos and the Reddit stories where there's just an AI voice reading a story with some gameplay in the background. But if you have a basic understanding of supply and demand, you'll know that this just isn't the case. Just think about it. If everybody posts these videos, then the supply is extremely high, but does the demand match it? In business, if there is high supply and low demand, there's a decrease in price. In TikTok terms, that means a decrease in views per video. But when the demand is high and the supply is low, there's an increase in price. And again, in TikTok terms, that means an increase in views per video. Now, it is very hard to find a niche that has high demand and low supply. So your best bet is to find a proven niche which is getting views, but not everybody else is doing that. The niche where supply and demand meet in the middle, the equilibrium point. If you want to see a video on how to do this, comment, find a niche and subscribe so you don't miss when I post it. I think that clears up that lie. So on to the third and final lie. TikTok doesn't push your videos globally once you're in the program. No, that just isn't the case. If your videos are getting stuck on 200 views, it has nothing to do with your location and everything to do with your content. Before I give you a simple fix, let me explain what I mean. The TikTok algorithm isn't as complicated as everybody makes it out to be. In order for a video to do well, the algorithm looks at watch time, what percentage of the video people watched, completion rate, what percent of people watched the whole video, engagement rate, how many comments, likes, shares, etc. and click through rate. How many people checked out your profile after watching the video? There is nothing about location. If all of these stats are high, the video will go viral. So what needs to be done to increase these stats? Here's a simple cheat sheet. A low watch time equals bad hook. Low completion rate is the climax of the information is too early. Low engagement rate means the topic doesn't spark conversation. And low click-through rate means there's no brand identity. So the fix to getting over 200 views is to look at your analytics. See what stats aren't performing the best 
and make corrections where necessary. And that's the three biggest lies about the TikTok creativity program beta covered. In my opinion, it's definitely a lucrative way to start earning money, but it isn't as simple as people make it out to be. Take some time deciding on a niche, set yourself a goal of posting at least one video a day for 90 days, analyze your videos after they're posted, and your chance of success will increase. If this video helped you, please like, subscribe, and check out the other videos on my channel. I'll catch you in the next one.